friends, so I've had loads and loads of requests to do another hamster video and I thought it'd be really fun to do a hamster tag. So I'm here with Igor and I'm actually in my kitchen and that's just because hamsters are nocturnal so they're only awake at night time and the artificial lighting is awful everywhere else so the kitchen's got quite good lighting so that's where I'm going to be filming it. So the first question is how old were you when you got your first hamster? So the first hamster I came in contact with really, I never had hamsters growing up because my parents aren't really into really small animals. They like rabbits um, but they're not too keen on guinea pigs or hamsters or any animals that are that small. So the first hamster I had really was when I was about 19 or 20 I moved in with my boyfriend who I live with now and he actually had a hamster called Jebby Jebison and that was the first hamster I really had but other than her the first hamster I've properly owned is going to be um, probably Igor and Vladimir I got these two together and um, I got these probably a year ago um, I can't quite remember, I've got all their birthdays written down somewhere and these are the first hamsters that we went out and bought together so these are the first hamsters I've properly owned and for the rest of the tag I'll go and get his brother or Marmaduke because Igor is getting a little bit adventurous and I don't want him to fall onto the floor so say bye Igor say bye, <laughs> don't use it ok so I'm back with Vladimir Igor's little brother and he's my other little dwarf and he'll probably start getting quite restless in a minute as well so I try and make this quick. So the second question is what is the name and species of your first hamster? So like I said before um, Jebby Jebison I suppose was kind of my first hamster um, although she actually belonged to my boyfriend and she was a Syrian hamster and um, other than her, these guys were my first hamsters that we actually got together and I think, to be honest, they are hybrids because we did get them from a pet shop, which I wouldn't recommend at all. I would recommend either getting your hamsters from a rescue or from a breeder, but we did get them from a pet shop, so I think, to be honest, they are hybrids, although this guy must have quite a lot of um, winter white in him because he does change colour in the winter and his brother doesn't, which is um, a bit weird, but there you go. So question number three is what is your favourite species of hamster and why? And I can't really pick between Syrians and dwarves to be honest. They're the only species of hamsters I've owned and I can't really pick because they're quite different in their personalities. Um, they've both got pros and cons. I find Syrians are a lot easier to handle and tame and, but dwarves are much more fun to watch in my opinion. Um, they're very very quick and um, they run around lots and they're very they're very fun. If you put them in your playpen or something like that they're really really fun to watch. So there's kind of pros and cons of each. Um, I couldn't really decide to be honest. Um, question number four is how many do you own and what are their names? So I currently own three hamsters. I have Igor and Vladimir, um, the Russian dwarves, and I have Marmaduke, the Syrian. So question number five is what are their favourite treats? And I try and avoid feeding too many shop-bought treats, to be honest, um, because they're not generally very good for them. And especially with my dwarves, I'm very, very careful as to what I feed them because they are a diabetes prone species. So I'm very careful with what I feed them and I only feed them treats very, very occasionally. Um, now my Russian dwarves really, really love mealworms. That's their absolute favourite treat. Um, whereas my Syrian hates them. So kind of your favourite treats will depend on your hamster and their personal tastes. Um, my hamsters all really, really love Rolinis by Voidcraft. They also love Bonios and kind of different dog treats like Pedigree Marquis, that's another one of their favourites. Um, they also all really, really love Millet Spray. 
which um, you can get in most pet shops in kind of the bird section but I don't feed that very often at all because it's it's kind of um, like sweets for hamsters so I don't feed it very often at all and um, <laughs> Vladimir is getting really restless as well now so I think I'll put him back and bring you my Syrian so you can see her as well I'm back with Marmajique and she's really really sleepy she only just woke up because she is really lazy <laughs> um, so the next question is what types of cages do you own? and um, at the moment my two dwarves are in iMac fantasy cages um, Igor has a two or three level cage and Vladimir has a three or four level cage depending on whether you count the top as a level or not and Marmaduke at the moment is in either two Fairplast Laura cages and a Fairplast Paula cage or the other way around I'm not too sure um, I forget the names but she is due for an upgrade soon um, I, I'm thinking about getting either a big tank for her or a zoo zone 2 so she has more floor space to run around she does have a lot of space because she's got the three cages to herself but there's not so much floor space if that makes sense so I'm hoping to upgrade her cage soon but I've got quite a lot of costs coming up at the moment um, I need to redo the guinea pig cages really because um, Snoopy and Ollie's cage isn't ideal and Gizmo and Jafar have kind of destroyed their cage and I also need to do quite a lot in the bunny shed. I'm going to make some extra levels um, for them and things like that to make it a bit more exciting for them. Um, so that's why she still hasn't upgraded her cage basically but it is on the to-do list and it will be done soon. And then I'll do like an updated cage tour of her um, very soon because I know I haven't done one in a while but it's because um, her cage isn't ideal at the moment basically. There is a cage tour of her up on my channel somewhere so you can check that out but um, I will be doing another one when I get her new house sorted um, so the seventh question is are you think, thinking of getting any more small pets and at the moment I'm not just because um, we've been very busy recently and the animals we've got at the moment are enough to keep us busy um, it's already constant cleaning and there's a lot that needs doing with all of them at the moment so I can't justify getting any more pets at the moment because I don't have the space or time but in the future I'd love to get more so the eighth question is where do you keep your hamsters and um, both my dwarf hamsters are in the piggy room which should probably be called the animal room but it's just called the piggy room because we got the pigs first well the pigs kind of got their own room first and then the hamsters sort of moved in so that's why we call it the pig room, but it's, they're in there anyway. And um, you can see that in my, um, when I moved house I did like a new guinea pig room video. So you can see their cages and where they are in the room in that video. And Mama Duke actually lives downstairs in my sitting room, which I wouldn't really recommend unless your sitting room is quite quiet. And we don't really... We don't listen to loud music or watch loud films or anything like that in it, so she's perfectly fine there. And you can see that in, um, I did kind of a moving house video and showed where all the pets were and you can see that in there. But um, I think when she gets a new cage she'll probably move up into the guinea pig room and once I've sorted that out a bit more. But at the moment there isn't really enough space in there for her cages because all of her cages together take up quite a lot of room. And also she's really messy, she likes to throw her poo out of her cage and um, <laughs> I like to keep the guinea pig room really clean so and also I don't really like hoovering too much in the guinea pig room um, because it's quite a loud noise so I tend to hoover more downstairs so <laughs> it tends to stay cleaner downstairs but anyway question number nine is what are the pros and cons of owning hamsters? And um, this is really difficult because I do own hamsters, I'm not going to think of many cons. Um, there's just, well, this is a tricky question. Um, the pros are, they are really lovely animals. Um, in my opinion, they're quite easy to tame. 
Um, I find them much easier to tame than um, rabbits and much easier than guinea pigs. Um, their cages, they do need a lot of room for, compared to their size, but they don't take up as much room as a rabbit or a guinea pig or another small animal. Um, they are quite expensive pets. They're more expensive than people initially think. But again, they're not as expensive as some pets that you can get. Um, they are just really, really lovely animals. Um, they're quite normally they're very reluctant to bite. Um, they're quite happy to be handled. They're just lovely, lovely animals in my opinion. Um, the cons, I would say they're nocturnal, so unless so you don't spend all that much time with them because they tend to sleep during the day and they're only awake at night and um, so I see them a bit in the mornings normally before they go to bed and I see them when they wake up in the evenings but you do kind of miss most of their activity because it's when you're in bed and I'd say the other con is probably their lifespan um, because hamsters generally live sort of between two and three years um, they don't have the biggest lifespan compared to like a rabbit which can live up to ten years so, um, and if you're like me, you get very attached to your animals and it can be very, very upsetting when one passes. Um, so I'd say that's a big con, that they don't live all that long. Um, but then again, I suppose it means they're not quite so much of a commitment um, because if you're getting a rabbit or a guinea pig or a chinchilla or something like that, you've got to really be thinking about what you'll be doing in the next ten years and if you're going to college or university or something like that then um, you'll need to think about who's going to look after them and if you'll be allowed to keep them in your accommodation and um, yeah so I think um, both the pros and cons can be negatives or positives but for me that's a big negative that they don't live as long as most animals and finally number 10 what are your hamsters nicknames? Um, so Marmaduke is Marmy or if she's been naughty she's Marmy Puke. Um, Igor is pretty much just Igor because he's got a short name anyway or sometimes Iggy Poo or Iggy Piddle <laughs> and Vladimir is normally Vlad or Vladdy um, and that's pretty much it and then there's just little nicknames like Pumpkin and little I don't know, just general nicknames, um, like Fuzzball, things like that, so, <laughs> but that's pretty much it, that's their main nicknames, but I normally just call them kind of whatever I think about it at the time, really, so I think that's pretty much it, and I hope, you, I hope you've enjoyed seeing the hamsters, I know you don't get to see them all that often, um, but I've had a lot of people give me ideas on hamster videos, but it's also quite hard to get around to doing all the videos because I've got quite a lot of different animals so I've got a lot of people asking for bunny videos, a lot of people asking for piggy videos so it's quite hard to get around to all of them but I am planning some more hamster videos soon so look out for those and I've also put on my channel now I've got sections for different animals so I think it works kind of like a playlist so you can go on to my hamster care videos and I think it will play kind of one after another <laughs> of um, different hamster care videos that I've done so you can always do that if you'd like. So I hope you enjoyed this tag and I'm tagging all of you so if you'd like to do the hamster tag as well then feel free and you can always leave it as a video response because I love learning about other people and their pets. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Hop along to our Facebook page so you can keep up to date as we post competitions where you can win loads of prizes for your pets. See you soon! Loads of, loads of, bleh.